how's everybody doing? My name's Lexcoop and I am back. I'm going to be giving you guys a quick Fraps tutorial um, because it's a recording software that's very good, produces high quality videos, and there's probably some people still wondering how to use it. Now, uh, there's a few general things that you might want to know about. Like on the front page here under general, there's start Fraps minimize. So when you launch the program, what well, it will do is it will start either minimized in here or it will start minimized in, inside your tray. Um, frap window always on top, meaning that if you have any program up, it will always be at the front if you don't have it minimized. Uh, run Fraps when Windows starts. Basically, when you start up your Windows computer, it will start up. Now, this is one of the things that uh, people have issues with. Uh, monitor, so it's basically wants you to be able to do record your desktop. So you can click that. And right now, I'm getting one, two, three, two, three. This depends on how much you move. There's nothing really going on, so it doesn't need a lot of frames. But if it's producing something up to 60 frames a second, it will show you 60 frames a second. Now, the only way to get this, actually, is you have to delete a file in your uh, Windows updates. And it's just a, an update, and it allows this to work. I'll, uh, what I'll try and do is I'll try and find the video and put the link in the description so that you guys are able to do so. So you guys are able to uh, delete that file so that you can record your desktop. Otherwise, you can't. Um, minimize the system tray only. It means when you minimize it, it will either go into your systems tray or it will stay down here. Um, under this is where you get to choose where the FPS counter is. So it's on the right, top right, bottom right, bottom left. Or you can have it hidden so it just doesn't show at all. I usually have it on the top left. Or it's kind of just what it's set to. And and whatnot. Now you can hit F12 and that will change it automatically if so you're not clicking on it or if you have it and you're playing a game you can hit F12 and it'll move it if it's in the way of what you're trying to look at. Now this will stay up whether you're recording or not and if you are recording it'll come up as red and if you're not recording it comes up as yellow. Um, you can benchmark your FPS's, your frame times these things there's no actual settings for you can't actually change them but you can um, just to, to turn them on or off. Um, so you can change the folders where everything goes. I usually don't like having anything go into my uh, my C drive because that's my solid state drive and the more times you rewrite something on there the more it quickly it dies. So I always recommend changing your folders. So you change it to your computer and we're going to go to our G drive because that's our, our biggest drive and We'll just put it in gameplay, and uh, I don't have a Fraps folder anymore. I do have Fraps folders. So we're going to put it in there. That's how you change anything. Uh, it'll there'll be different options in different spots, and I'll show you the same, show you the same way. But you hit claim, change, or you can hit view, and it'll bring up the folder. Uh, so let's move on to movies. This is where you're going to actually start recording your gameplays, start recording using it for videos and whatnot. So these are the settings you're going to be dealing with most of the time. Again, start off here. If you want to change a folder and where you want to put it, if you have a folder selected specifically for the game itself, so like uh, say I'm going to do some H1Z1 uh, or some DayZ or some Rust, whatever, you can select the folder that it's going into. OBS, I have that LOL, that's for League, which is no longer on my computer. Uh, Battlefield 4, you can pick any one you want, select it, and it will change the folder. This is your hotkey, right? So you can have it so that you're in the middle of your game, you can press the hotkey, and it will start recording. I have mine temporarily set to F10. You can change it just by highlighting it and then pressing a button. F9, F10, F9, F10, whatever. Um, now the video capturing settings. Now there's not a lot of settings in Fraps. You can change the frame rate. You can have it customized. So you can go click this one and then select the frame rate that you want. Type in like 14, which is nobody would ever do. But so let's just put it back to 29.97. Uh, you can do 30, 50, 60. Now this is one thing that some people say that you can do, and I disagree completely. By changing it from full size to half size, not only are you dropping the resolution, you're dropping the bit rate. And that's where people are happy is you're dropping the bit rate, which makes the file sizes a lot smaller. But the problem is you're losing tremendous quality. It goes from half size. So if you're doing a 1080p, it's going to be 540p, roughly. And you don't want to do that ever. 
if your computer can't handle fraps and you don't have enough storage space to handle fraps get a different program that is my recommendation or play at a lower resolution play at 720p and then the file sizes will be a little bit smaller this is something I always have on because I love this option. It splits movie every four gigs. So every time it's about to hit four gigs, it stops the, it splits the recording and has them in different full, different, um, different, different little videos. So little four gig videos. And that's really good because then if you are recording for a long period of time, you don't have to worry about losing anything because it's, it's been split up. If you lose, have one file that is corrupted, you're not losing hours of footage. You're only losing however much time it is, depending on how the file sizes uh, that you that you play with, like the resolution you play it with. So if the higher resolution you play with, um, Fraps actually records at like I think it's 100 at uh, nine 900p to 1080p. It records at roughly 100 to 150 megabits per second, which is insane. Big sizes, big sizes. It's usually a gig every couple of minutes, every two minutes, every two to three minutes max four minutes I think you can get um, d depending depending on the the video uh, resolution you play at uh, record Windows sound so like if you are recording if you make click a button and it goes beep beep that will record it or you can have it not unchecked and then you don't worry about it stereo uh, multi-channel so you can have your set to uh, record your microphone and right now it's set to my my standard microphone which is what I'm talking through to you now which is my uh, my blue Nessie, Snowball Blue Nessie. Um, now you can also have it set to capture when you press a button, and it can be spacebar when you're holding it down. You can be caps lock. You can change that however you want by just selecting it and then changing it. Caps lock. Bam. I don't have it selected because I like it to be recording at all times. Um, hide mouse cursor in video. Pretty simple. It means that you won't see the mouse cursor. Lock frame rate while recording. Um, what that will do is that will push your system. If you want it to be locked at 60 frames a second, like what you have it set to, it will lock the frame rate at 60, which means that you're, it will constantly record 60 frames a second. However, what it will do is if you're in a high PC demanding or CPU demanding situation, the frame rate in the game itself will drop more. Instead of them both dropping equally and dropping just a little bit, this is forcing 60 frames a second, and it will drop the... P your gameplay you know down more so if you were gonna if you had it off and you were gonna lose 10 from your frame rate from recording and 10 from the game they would both go down to 50 but if you have this selected let's say you it stays at 60 recording 60 frames a second and it drops the game down to 40 you're losing that extra 10 so I usually have it off because it evens everything out and uh, don't don't even worry about this. I always I usually just have it off, and my recordings usually come out pretty good. So that's my rough th tutorial. All I, I can give this is basically the same thing, right? I have it set to F10. I could change that to F12 or F11. It doesn't even matter. And uh, that's if you want to take a quick screenshot, and you can change where it'll go by just clicking there and click the folder. Um, but right now, I'm happy with where it's going. Um, now you can change the file format that it's going to come out in. It's just four different formats, and JPEG is pretty standard. There's PNG, and honestly, you're probably either going to use JPEG or PNG. The other thing I was going to say back under the movies is the video file format that it records out is in AVI. Uh, that's another reason why the file sizes are so large, because it doesn't record in MP4 format. And from what I understand right now, you can't change that. So that is the quickest tutorial I could come up with to explain everything about this program. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, right now I've been using uh, another recording program. I've been using uh, Shadowplay from N NVIDIA. And I'm going to be using doing a tutorial on that as well as OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of the difference between the two, uh, what you can do with them, uh, the quality of them, and then you guys can proceed from there to get whichever one you choose. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, scoop, say, and rate, comment, subscribe. Doochie, doos, skadoosh.